Hi guys, welcome to PJ's Coin Capers. So today I want to show you something a little bit different. Um, so uh, basically what I do with the coins after I uh, after I finish going through the rolls um, is just a heap of coins I've sort of pulled aside that um, I think are uh, worth hanging on to. Uh, so what do I do with them? So technically I don't put them all into, say, 2 by 2 so into these um, uh, little coin folders like like these guys I don't bother protecting them all unless I'm um, posting them out is generally when I'll put them into those I do keep un uncirculated coins uh, in those two by two holders but um, generally I just wanted to show you where I put the circulated coins so like this for example is um, uh, some two dollar coins that I've kept aside um, all these ones are found in circulation and uh, just put them in these little plastic containers uh, they've got nice little separations and um, yeah so um, here's a whole of um, 2011 two dollar coins and a number of other colored coins as you can see some of the newer ones I try to separate them all out as best as I can but uh, sometimes get a bit lazy and just chuck them all in um, some purple ones we found in circulation and some green ones um, yeah so that's where I tend to put uh, most of my two dollar coins um, that I sort of keep aside uh, then I have different ones for different uh, denominations like um, there's a one for 50 and dollars um, 20 cent coins that are non platypus um, and some platypus uh, coins I tend to put a bit of a label up there just so I know what I'm keeping. Uh, I've got plenty of um, slots for, um, I tend to put some year coins in, um, so like if it was, you know, 2017, 20 cent coins and I didn't know whether or not they were going to be low mintage or not, um, I'd keep some in here and those kind of things. Um, some uh, 5 and 10 cent coins, which it's a bit all over the place, but... I tend to keep a few low mintage uh, coins in not bad condition like these are all 85s um, sometimes they do overflow into other ones but uh, like these are all 2011s all these sort of ones here um, and uh, these are all 1972 uh, 5 cent coins um, so I tend to keep them in these so they don't get knocked around any further they tend to stay fairly safe as they sit in here um, so um, yeah it's probably not the best way to keep them but it um, it certainly is helpful and I can just go and grab the box and put them away and those kind of things so um, yeah, and here we have a few dollar coins uh, it's not all the ones, but I have separated out a few. Um, as you can see there, some, um, yeah, plenty of the, um, the low mintage ones. Um, uh, and just a few, yeah, I'm not sure what they all are, but, uh, these would be probably 2014 ones. All these ones here, the low mintage, uh, mob of ruse. So, yeah, I just tend to keep the low mintage ones, um, yeah, more 2014, uh, and I do have some rolls and bits and pieces lying around in other spots, um, and I tend to keep all the sort of valuable ones uh, safely put away uh, in a safe. Um, but yeah, like more 50 cent coins in here. Just um, yeah, some nice ones, some. Um, Lower mintage ones, plenty of 1993 ones. Um, what else we got? Um, quite a few round ones in there. Um, yeah, uh, all different ones. Um, yeah, some 85s. Certainly haven't found as many 85s as what I do the 93s. Um, one of my favourite coins there. So, um, yeah, there is um, another container I keep here, which is like this. It's got three levels and it's got um, sort of um, barriers inside there. 
I tend to stick little labels and things like that just to sort of uh, keep them. There's some Anzac uh, 2015s. There's probably a hundred or so in there. Um, then I've got um, little pockets for the 2001 Federation coins. Uh, as you can see there, I've labelled them. And uh, there's Tasmanian, the Victorian ones, which I find a lot of. Um, Norfolk Island, we've got the New South Wales ones in there. Plenty of South Australian ones and, and WA. I uh, don't find as many of the Queensland and Northern Territory ones, even though they are some of my favourite ones. And uh, the ACT. And I've also done the same with the 50 cent coins. So, a bit of a bulging across there, but um, you got the Tassie and the ACT together, because I don't find many of those. The Victorian ones, Queensland ones, uh, Norfolk Island and South Australia, don't find too many of the South Australian ones. Uh, there's just some higher grade of the, um, just the general uh, one and we've got the WA Northern Territory, another tougher one to find, and some uh, New South Wales ones. So, generally, these ones I keep are in some you know nice condition, um, such as that. But, um, yeah, it's just a safe way. Um, these containers stack up on top of each other, so it's um. Yeah, it's quite it's quite handy uh, to store them in this in this fashion. Um, I do also have a another box like this, which I keep uh, error coins in, and I label them. Um, so just up there, so we've got different cut errors and bits and pieces. Um, but um, yeah, I just sort of label them and, and put them aside. And um, yeah, just thought. Uh, I'll just show you guys uh, where I tend to do most of my noodling and uh, yeah, keeping my books and bits and pieces lying around here. Got some good light so I can uh, see everything. Um, but uh, keep a bit of a stack of um, different sized 2v2s uh, to put coins away in. Um, and lots of packaging and uh, posting materials for when I sell coins. So. Um, yeah, gloves and bits and pieces like that for handling. Um, so yeah, just thought I'd uh, show you that there today, and um, hopefully it helps. I just I got most of these containers literally from um, oh, like two dollar shop style places. Um, many of the bargains sort of almost like reject shop sort of spots. Um, they're in most uh, most areas, uh, and I just look out for containers that'll be suitable for holding coins. So. That's what I do, and I um, hope this has been uh, helpful. Please love to, um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please uh, do so. Uh, try and put out uh, as many videos as I can as I find time, but um, please hit the like button and um, and share if, uh, if, um, if you think others would like to uh, see what's going on here. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll talk again soon.